Hello and welcome to Baking Butterly Love. In this video, I'm going to show you a fun way to use up leftover buttercream. So I had in my freezer a stack pile of all kinds of little bits of colored buttercream. So I decided to use them up by painting a landscape painting, I guess, on a cake. So I like to use the back of a sheet tray when I'm painting with little bits of color like this. It just makes it easy to lay everything out and mix colors if you need to. Um, and I did sort of challenge myself. I wanted to use only the colors that I had without adding any food coloring, but I did mix the colors on the sheet tray that I already had. So I looked up on um, Pinterest, just some sort of landscape and sunset photos for inspiration. I've been painting watercolor landscapes, like following tutorials for fun, so I thought it would be interesting to try to replicate that, but with buttercream on a cake. So I started with a yellow layer around the middle of the cake, and that's gonna sort of be the bottom of my skyline. Um, and then I did an orange color for the next layer. And I'm just sort of trying to blend those together um, and like smoothing out the top and the bottom of the color so that there's not a harsh, harsh edge. Um, so just like really gently scraping towards the top and towards the bottom and maybe spending a little bit of extra time blending between the yellow and the orange to get rid of that harsh line. Then just adding a few more colors, I'm gonna do some pink and then I'm going to finish it off with blue that I'm going to sort of wrap around the top. So I wasn't trying to get this like perfectly blended. It's definitely gonna be a textured style painting, but I don't want to have super harsh lines either. I want everything to sort of bend and flow and mix together so that it looks, you know, more like a realistic sunset. Oh, and I did want to mention, I'm doing all of this on a cold cake, so that base layer of frosting had been completely chilled for probably 24 hours before, before I started painting. Um, and that's a good thing to do, it's just going to make sure that you're not going to mess up the bottom layer of frosting while you're adding your buttercream paint. Um, but you do have to keep in mind that because the cake is completely chilled, once you start spreading the room temperature buttercream, that buttercream that you're using the paint is going to chill down really fast and you won't be able to spread it around like you would with normal paint. So you have to work a little bit more quickly or be maybe a little bit more confident in what you're painting. Um, and then for the blue here on the top, I did right around the edge of the sides and I'm trying to take care to wrap it around the top so I don't have any white gaps on the corner edge there. All right, so now I have my sunset sky done and I'm going to sort of start painting a foreground along the bottom of the cake. So I decided to do the sky first and then do this second so that I can paint this over top of the sky. And then I'm also going to do a few little clouds. I thought that would be fun. So I'm doing these in a light purple color. And instead of spreading them up and down like I did with the sky, um, the clouds, I'm sort of just lightly tapping the palette knife up and down. I'm spreading it a little bit to get sort of that like long, thin cloud shape, but then I'm tapping to get more of like a splotchy texture instead of a smooth one. And I just did these purple clouds sort of randomly at different heights around the cake. And I wanted to keep them sort of long and thin, not too poofy. And then after I got all the clouds where I wanted them, I went back through and I actually added some sort of like a shadow to them by blending um, another color. So for these lower ones, I did like a little bit of an orange and pink blended into the bottom. And then for the upper ones, it was more of like a blue and pink that I blended into it. Just a way to give it like a little bit more dimension. 
Now I decided I wanted to give this um, foreground land part a little more texture. I was gonna do kind of like plants or grass. I don't know, this is very abstract. <laughs> um, so I'm just sort of like scraping gently up along the edges to make it look a little bit more like a field. Um, so I'm scraping with the end of the palette knife and then I actually turned it sideways and I'm sort of like cutting little lines into the buttercream so that you get very defined little lines. And I did this all the way around. I did have to go back and add a little bit more brown because it had chilled at this point. Um, so I couldn't completely scrape all of it up. I had to add a little bit more fresh buttercream to get the look I was going for. And then for my next layer of land slash grass, I'm doing like a muted green color. And kind of similar to what I did with the clouds, I'm just sort of tapping it up and down. Um, but this time I'm doing the whole length of the palette knife. So I get sort of like long stalks of grass, <laughs> I guess it is. And I did that all the way around the cake, varying the height. So because this is kind of supposed to be a little bit closer in the foreground, I'm making these a little bit bigger. And I also wanted to add some highlights. I didn't have any white, so I actually just sort of scraped out a few lines to reveal the white underneath. Then just a few really big, lighter, grass-type plant things again. Add another layer of depth. And lastly, I used a brush and some light pink edible arts paint to splatter like a fun little mist all over the cake. That's a technique I picked up from watching watercolor YouTube videos and I thought it was fun. Um, so that's the whole cake. It's a pretty fun way, crafty way to use up all those little leftover bits of buttercream and not let them go to waste. So thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.